In this video, I'm going to show you how quick it is to use Asset Accountant and QuickBooks to start automating depreciation for your fixed assets. In this example, I'm going to purchase a new asset within QuickBooks, and I'm going to put that into a clearing account that Asset Accountant will go and interrogate. So I put the payee in and the clearing account. Let's say I'm going to buy an iPhone, and this is going to be an iPhone 11. So the price of those, let's say they've gone up to $999. So I'm going to save that iPhone 11. That's now saved in the clearing account in QuickBooks. In Asset Accountant, I flick over there and you can see the fixed asset register for that entity as it currently looks. I'm then going to go into Draft Assets and my Draft Assets tab will go and interrogate the clearing account within QuickBooks. Here you can see that iPhone 11 has come through with today's purchase date and a cost of $999. I'm going to add that asset. And you can see here it's pulled through the information from QuickBooks. Then I just choose that I want to say that's a mobile phone. That will then apply the default depreciation rates for tax and accounts that I've got set up for mobile phones. So there's a two-year prime cost for tax and two-year prime cost for accounts. So let's say I'm happy with that. I save that asset and uh, that will then appear in the mobile phone section. So you can see here that iPhone 11 has gone through. I'm then going to go and create the journal. So I'd already run my journals up to the end of October prior to adding that asset. So now I'm just say I've bought that asset and I can add that in another journal to the 31st of October. And you can see here the journal's been created, which clears out the clearing account. So it puts a credit of the $999 in there, posts it to the correct account within QuickBooks Online, and then starts the depreciation of that asset. So you can see it's depreciated $10 over the period it's been in existence in October. So if I'm happy with that journal, I can then post that automatically to QuickBooks online using the post QuickBooks button. And you can see there that journal has been successfully posted. Then there's a deep link in to QuickBooks online from Asset Accountant here, which will take you into the journal that has just been posted in QuickBooks. And so you're then able to confirm that the Asset Accountant journal, moving the clearing account, clearing the clearing account and starting the depreciation has been set there.